Ah, right. Pretty cloudy day. Gotta go inside. Now, what do you notice when I came in? The lights automatically turned on. Yes, when you leave, they turn off, and when you come in, they turn on. How beautiful is that? Only downside to this is that mobs can spawn inside your house. But, usually people have, like, open closed door things, so this thing might be actually useful if you want it for decoration. It's pretty easy to make. You, all you need is this. It's um switcher. I'll show you how to make that real quick. And um, let me see if I can get a button here. Anyways, you don't need wool for this. Um, basically, you make. It's kind of like an uh, iron golem, except without the arm and head. Uh, sorry, it's kind of a rainy. It's a block. Anyways, you dig out a block, put a redstone torch. Um, you place a sticky piston there, sticky piston there, put a redstone torch there, there. Then you place that there, and it makes it so. Let's see. This redstone current is on. You press a button. It turns it off. Now, basically, you can make it so, like this. Also, so you can hook it up to redstone current press that and switches around. These things are actually very, very, very helpful. And um yeah, they can just like turn on your lights, which you it just basically switches it around and turns on these lights so it just switches. So when you stay on these pressure plates, it acts like a button and turns this on. And when you leave, it turns them off. Now I kind of took it to an extreme here. Yeah. Well, anyways. Open. Lights turn on. Doors open. And ta-da! Yeah, I kind of took it to the extreme. I'm, I'm sure I probably overdid it with the redstone, but it's not as much as the people who build, like, contraptions that are, like, Oh, I don't even know how they work. They, yeah, it's just like too complicated for me. But this is actually very simple. Just that little contraption can just control lights and stuff. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Just like switching around and stuff. And also, I I think I have yes. This is my piston elevator. I this used to be the old-fashioned one without pistons. Yeah, it was a real pain, and um, also what these can be used for is if I get some redstone repeaters here, I'll just take it from this heart and get some redstone, and take this sticky piston and block. It can also, just make sure, right. so you can actually start up um, loops this way. It yes loops um so you want to set this for two ticks you want one coming off the button and going into there so basically when you press this the piston extends oh. mm. see and um it pulses over and over again but we don't want that so um so when we press it there, it removes the block, stops the pulse. If we press that again, oh this one needs a bit more delay. So let's see if I can get this example right. wait this one has too much of a delay so right this one just needs that delay so if you press that it'll send this one needs to be a bit slower sorry 
So when you press a button, why isn't this working? I don't know, but um, basically what it's supposed to do is that it's supposed to con oh, I have the repeaters on. Wrong. Maybe that's why. Anyways, now let's see if this actually works. So now you see it's going over over and looping because it can conduct through this block so you just send a pulse through the block this stays out and it keeps pulsing and once you press it again it shuts us off yeah so yeah a little experimentation but then yeah I finally got it I also yeah I'm now going to show you my piston elevator it's kind of a yeah I was kidding Anyways, we're going to start it, and I'm going to go press F5 twice, and basically how it works is you pushes, it pushes you along like this, uh, it basically just ta changes the torches at back, they have a delay, which it varies slowly, but it does push you up diagonally. So, um, yeah. And here's to turn it off. It removes that block over there from the loop. And yeah. Then you got a little dab board right here. And yeah. So there's a lot of things you can do with these. And now I'm just going to show you this in action real quick because it's actually pretty cool. I did not look up any tutorial except for that. It kind of just like zips you along, like a zipper, I guess. Um, it's not as fast as the other ones because I know the ones that can go up, <laughs> like get you to block them in three, like three seconds. <laughs> it's outrageous what they do sometimes, but that's how people are. Now, if we sprint through here, yeah. We can beat the doors and we we'll, will be locked in. Um, crap, how do I get out of here? We'll figure out that in the next video. Or I could just break through the wall. Then take this bliss back. <laughs> Alright, anyways, that's basically it. Next, leave a comment of what you want to see next because if there are anything is you want to see, then I'm probably gonna make it because I need something to make because I'm bored and if you haven't already I'll leave an annotation at the side of the video like right up here for um Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask series because yeah because my commentary is fun and you will laugh at everything I say and yeah so yep check that out and I will see you guys later and there's a jungle tree and okay let's stop the video but there is one thing I gotta say these things are awesome